Okay, good afternoon. So uh, for this book review, I'm going to be talking about Dauntless by Marcus Fallon, otherwise known as The Golden One. Um, so I chose to read this book because I'm a fan of The Golden One. I like his videos, I like his content. Um, uh, he's inspired me in a lot of ways, especially physically. He's inspired me to get myself in shape. Um, and he is a, uh, he's a very inspirational figure. Um, his book, Dauntless, it's kind of hard to describe what exactly it is. Um, he kind of just talks about, like, all the things that he believes, and, like, uh, he doesn't, he doesn't really go into why he believes them, though. That's kind of the biggest problem with his book, to be honest with you. Um... He kind of just has like really base, he, at least he only expresses like very baseline views that pretty much anyone who approaches this book is already going to agree with. And he doesn't really do a whole lot of convincing to anyone who might not agree with his views. But that's not, that's not to say that, um, that this book isn't good. There's still some very, uh, there's still some really nice information in it. Like the uh, at the very beginning, he talks a lot about training. He talks a lot about dieting. Uh, and he talks a lot. I think I think what I found most per, uh, most valuable personally was uh, when he talks about compound movements, compound uh, weightlifting movements, um, um, such as uh, such as barbell squats, deadlifts, bench press, and the like. Um, there was a, there was a lot of stuff that I didn't know about these compound movements, um, that I learned in this book. And there was a lot of stuff in, about training in general that I didn't know about that was in this book. And I think that was by far the most valuable part of this book was the stuff about training. Um, and then, as I said before, the stuff about, uh, the stuff where he talks about politics and spirituality is it's a bit more lackluster. Um, he he doesn't really go into much depth on all of that. <clears throat> and um, and normally with that, I probably would have uh, judged my uh, judged my synopsis of the book off of just those things. Um, and I probably would have given it just like. A 6.5 or 7 um, but after reconsidering and as or not after reconsidering but as I as I got close to the end of the book I realized just how much of a vast expanse of things he has a pretty well-informed opinion on he he cites a lot of sources throughout the book and he has he has opinions on things that I don't even have opinions on myself and I have to give him credit just for that alone, that he, that he really has taken the time to inform himself on a, on a vast, on a vast, uh, pool of topics. And he, he does a pretty good job of sourcing, uh, of, of sourcing, uh, certain claims. And I think for that, I'd have to bump it up from a 6.5 to 7, up to like a 7, 7.5, probably a 7.5. So yeah, that is my review of Marcus Fallon's Dauntless. So yeah.